All right, thank you, Brittany. I'm in the kitchen with Chef Edgar Cuvas from Mykonos Cafe in Taverna. And Edgar, what are we making today? Well, today we're making a new play of a Mykonos pasticcio. Okay. Yeah, so that one is a new, new style for okay. uh, representing Mykonos and uh, Nick and Jimmy's. Nick and Jimmy's, okay. Yeah. So what goes into this here? I see we got so, some ground beef patties. What else are we working with well, today? Well, ground beef. I mix the ground beef with the onions, a uh, little fresh garlic, mm -hmm. parsley, uh, parmesan cheese, bread crumbles, salt, fresh eggs, mission meal. I can make a mission meal with the milk. And uh, that one is a mix of uh, the flour and uh, a little butter. Oh, wow, okay. So just very quickly, uh, so you're mixing a lot of these ingredients. You're rolling it into the ground beef. This isn't something you season on top. No, you're actually, I saute, I saute you it. Saute with yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. got it, fantastic. And so you said, now this is something at Mykonos. We can also get this in Nick and Jimmy's? Yes. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, we're going to be diving into this here in just a little bit. Going to be uh, having a little bit of burgers. I'm hungry. Let it brought okay. my appetite today, Perfect. Edgar. <laughs> For now, we're going to send things over to Brittany, though. Enjoy the beautiful weather today, folks, because it might get stormy tomorrow. Tomorrow. It is a great day here in the kitchen. Now, I misspoke earlier. Yanni's not part of the, the triumvirate. We have El Patron, Nick and Jimmy's, and Mykonos. That's right. So, Edgar Cavas of uh, Cuvas of Mykonos Cafe. And Taverna is here along with Nick. And Nick, uh, I'm going to mispronounce your name, my friends. So, Kapnison. Kapnison. Nick Kapnison here, owner. So, let's dive right in. We're making a traditional dish. Is that right? Yeah, well, this is a traditional dish, different. Because that one, uh, the traditional is with tomato sauce. Okay. What we try to do, because a lot of people don't like tomato, so we do take out the Which tomato Which I don't sauce. understand. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, don't, yeah I don't get it. Okay, All so right, let's, let's jump right into it. What's the first step? The first step, I cook the meat okay. with a little onions. Mm -hmm. I put a little, uh, a little garlic, mm -hmm. a little salt, black pepper, wine, and a little olive oil. Okay. So when okay. I turn it brown, and actually I make the mission meal right now, I want to make it right now. Okay. And okay. Uh, when it's finished, it's that one, I can add a little that one is the mission meal is only butter and uh, a little flour. So okay. that way you make it thicker. Got it. Okay. So in terms of temperatures here, when we're when we're browning the, the beef, are you, do you have that pan hot or is it over like a medium heat? Yeah, uh, well I, it's it's better you hot. So okay. that way you burn a little bit and okay. turn down a little bit. So okay, that way so you, you want to brown it and then reduce yes, it. Exactly, yeah. Bit. Okay. Now in terms of the, the sauce over here, what uh, what temperature are you working on that? The is temperature that is hot? almost uh, 140 degrees. Okay. So that way it's almost don't burn your salad in the bottom right. because okay. sticky. Okay. Got it. So Do you mix this whole thing in? Yes. So okay. what, what what exactly is this? I melt the butter, mm -hmm. heat it a little bit, and I add the, the flour. So that way, uh, make consistency like that. Okay, so while he's mixing that in, let's find out about some of the restaurants that you guys have. Mm -hmm. Tell us, first off, let's start with Mykonos. Mykonos is our newest restaurant. Okay. It's, uh, we have specialized in Greek food. However, we do have several varieties. Okay. Uh, our other restaurant, which is a New Mexican restaurant, El Patron. I, I've been Montgomery. there multiple times. Oh, good. Yeah, it's, it's see, beautiful it's when you go there. there. Thank you, know? you. Okay, and then your last one? My last one is uh, Nick and Jimmy's. Also on very I delicious. On I-25. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has a variety of our menu. Mm -hmm. uh, we feature it as ev something for everybody. Yeah. Which okay. actually our three restaurants always have different meals. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah. Is a lot of times when you see people who own restaurants, it's very similar. You get kind of the same style of meal, right. but this is all very different. Very different. Okay, let's so just look, let's jump back over here. Yeah, this looking at this, you're since really seeing around. the consistency change. Yeah, yeah. It's yes. incredible. So you see what what happened with that one? It's going to thicker a little bit, mm -hmm. so that way make it uh, creamy. Okay. Yeah, it definitely. Okay. Yeah, it did thicken up. So after we've gotten, is that the consistency that we want to go for right exactly, here? Yes. Okay, what's the next step there? So the next step, I put in the pan a little uh, bread crumble and a little parmesan cheese. Okay. So what I do, I have the white eggs, I mix it up together, mm -hmm. I put together with a pasta, mm -hmm. already made it, and I have a little butter, so that way make it a little, a little more soft. Okay. Okay, so you've melted the butter exactly. on there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what happened, I mix a little bit, so that way go through on the pasta. Mm -hmm. Mixing things with hands is so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> and that really probably, I mean, not only does it, is it something really from the heart, but you're making sure, you're really ensuring that everything gets that coating. Exactly, that right? yeah. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's very important you mix together very good. Okay. Okay. What I do next, I add the parmesan cheese together, mm -hmm. so that way it's make a little more uh, consistent. Oh, yeah. Now, what kind of pasta is this? That one is uh, the Greek pasta. Okay, it's, it's Greek called, pasta. It's called Melissa. It's the number two. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. And actually, the next step, I put a little pasta in the bottom, so that way I make layers of the pasta. Okay. Go a little bit. The next step is I take my my sauce. 
Uh -huh. You just put together, just a little bit, mm -hmm. so that way the, the meat go and stay in the, right there. Okay. Okay. So do you, so fill, you fill that whole thing, you, you cover that with the sauce? Is exactly, that right? yeah. yeah. So okay. what happened, I mix a little bit here. You spread wow. it all over, okay. And I spread a little bit. That already looks delicious. And I put a little, I a little, a little nutmeg for color. Nutmeg, really? Okay. And a little paprika okay. too, so that way it make a little, little taste for the real pastiche. Okay. okay. What I do next, I put the meat. Make sure to cover everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, are you going to do multiple layers of this? So once this is done, we put another layer of the pasta. On. Yes, exactly. And actually, when I finish this, I put I finish it with a with the same mishmash on the top. Okay. That's great. Now, in addition to this, um, you know, we say we say we talk about like traditional Greek dishes. In New Mexico, we might not know what a traditional Greek dish <laughs> is. So, what are some of the other favorites that we can find on the menu there? Well, I have a kind of difference. Can I? Uh, we do a lot of lamb. Okay. Of yeah. So we when, when you get a lamb. gyro, you, right. lamb is typically that meat that you find right. in there. So right. lamb is that it's, is that a pretty big staple of Greek it's dish? It's a mixture. Yes, okay. it is. However, we have a lot of varieties. We have uh, grape leaves with stuff with uh, meat and with uh, lamb no sauce. We feature steaks, Greek style, which means Greek style means lemon, oregano, a little bit of garlic. Okay. okay. That's. <laughs> You're, that's you're safe style. in Greek style. Delicious. Okay. That's what it is. Great. That's my favorite <laughs> you know? style, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we do a lot of pastas. We do a lot of stuff. A lot of our menu comes from our, our grandparents. Our really? parents. Okay. Okay. Uh, the pasticcio he's making normally has uh, tomato in it. Yeah. But this pasticcio, we actually, uh, Chef Hugo came up with it. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like tomato. Mm -hmm. So it does have the tomato. It has the sauces that he showed you. And we've had great success with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's uh, so it's stuck. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so we're gonna put another layer on here. So this is done, and then yes. we just kind of repeat the process. Exactly, repeat Florida? the process. Okay. And um, so what I do, I do an exit again. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so when do we add the vegetables here? Is that kind so of a side dish? That, well, the vegetables I do in the sides, okay. so that way make it colorful. Because some people like the more colorful the food. You know yeah. what I mean? So what happened? This this dish is a little. Less color. Yeah. So I want to try to make something brain in the plate. Got it. Gotcha. Okay. So then now after all it's done, you're going to put this in the in the oven and it's going to bake? Yes. So it's baking in the 350 degrees. 350 for, for, for how long? For 30 minutes. For 30 minutes? Yes. And uh, just take it out. Just cool down for like uh, 10 minutes. Okay. Because you can cut far away because the mission is still hot. So what happened is you're breaking apart. Okay. Okay, fantastic, guys. Well, again, this is available at Mykonos, of course, El Patron, Mykonos, and Nick and Jimmy's. Many options to choose from when yes. you're dining here in the Duke City. We will have links to all at casa.com, and we will have this finished product when we come back. Stay with us, folks. Mm -hmm. Hey, you already had mac and cheese. Nope.